This video uses the operation pivot map. We load pivot map by double clicking, shift clicking, right click, copy, move to our calculator, right click, paste, press enter. To see that we have loaded it, press the VAR key, press CAS, press program, and we see that pivot mat has been loaded into our calculator. Pivot mat is found under the info, immediate mode, CAS, VAR option. Then we press finite math and we see that under linear programming, dual problems, pivot mat is listed. In this video, we use the matrix approach to solve system of linear equations with a one point solution. There are three ways that on our HP prime calculator that we can use augmented matrices to solve for one point. We can use the RREF, we can use our added pivot map function, or we can use the built-in matrix operations. On our home screen, we have shown the built-in matrix operation. This is what textbooks use. Also, we are using the matrix variables to store them in. If we switch to the CAS view, and if we scroll, we see the screen on the left. What we are showing is we can take matrix A and matrix B and concatenate these two matrices to form matrix C. Then we can use the built-in matrix operation RREF to come up with our answer. Concant is found if we press the toolbox then if we press the catalog button and then we press OK, we bring up CanCan. We escape out of the command line. We press the toolbox again. We go to our math soft key. We go to matrix and we go to three and we get the RREF function, reduce row epsilon form. We concatenated matrix A coefficients with matrix B constant to show the augmented matrix. There really is no need to do this, but we wanted to emphasize that this matrix that we were working with, matrix C, was an augmented matrix. We now escape out of our command line and switch over to the home screen. We scroll our home screen. We see this screen here on the left. What we did, we initially put this matrix into M1 and used our pivot map. Then we went to our home screen again and we cleared out the pivot map functions and did it with the row operations. Pivot map is found by pressing var, pressing two for program, and pressing one for pivot map. Let's discuss this screen. To enter matrix M1, we press the five key with the shift twice. That puts us into matrix mode. We press our first number, then we press our comma, which moves us to the next element. Then we press our comma again, which moves it to the third element. We use the pad to move to the second row, press six, press the comma to move to the next element in that row, press comma to move to the third element in that row, press the pad to move outside, press shift to put the store emblem, and then we type alpha M and press one to enter our matrix. Get pivot map from the var key, press the parentheses, enter M1, comma, one, one, 
and store it as M2. We end up with this answer. Then do pivot mat again using M2 with our pivot element this time being 2, 2. Hit the shift EEX to get the store, store it as M3, and we end up with our answer for the last technique using matrix row operators, we clear the history element of everything but M1. We have listed here at the bottom of the page the three rules that we use for row operators. In the problem we're working with right now, we only need to use M row and scale add operators. We should mention that the scale add operator did not work in the CAS view. So this is another reason why we're working in the home view. Some of the matrix operators only work in one view, which is the home view. Another advantage to the home view is that the ABC key takes our decimal equivalent and switches it to fractions, which is much nicer to read. To get our pivot element, we take our M1 matrix times with 1 6 times its particular row to turn it into a 1. And this is the first row of M1 and store it as M2. Then we use the scale add. So we take this matrix M2. We take the opposite of what we have up here, which is negative 6 is the opposite of our positive 6. And we take that times the pivot row and we replace row 2 and we store this as a matrix 3. So now we have come up with the pivot column being 1 and 0. We repeat this for our second pivot row and pivot element and pivot column and end up using the two operations again and end up with our answer. This finishes our video on one point using a matrix approach by three different methods.